Thursday's Andy Griffith. Um, I know that Tyler was looking for this one, forward to this one, coaches. Um, but this is basically Murph Prep. This is a great way to announce what we're doing for each of our different divisions. I know that the South is going to Springville. The North is splitting and going uh, Bluffdale and Hall, or excuse me, Bluffdale, Bluffdale and South Jordan are going to the South Jordan gym and Holiday is going to be at Holiday. So everybody, help everyone, hype everyone up for that. Um, we're getting shirts, I believe, made for that and wanting everybody to um, participate in this and have a great community feel around it. Know, coaches, that we want people to get out and running, so don't try to, when those last few seconds of each AMRAP are going, get them out the door. Every 10 meters is a rep. Um, just help them try to get to that halfway point as much as, or as, uh, as, much as possible, okay? Um, run should be no more than 90 seconds. That will really help you with guiding athletes with determining their distance that they're going. I know there's different distances on the levels, but if they're taking more than 90 seconds to complete their 200 meter run, at any point during this workout, we really gotta coach them on helping them figure out either what's wrong with their gymnastics or we're causing them to hold their breath. That might be because they're out of breath that they're taking that long or just their efficiency in running. But let's try to help everyone stay under that 90 seconds. That's truly a high max. We would love for everybody everybody to be more around 60 seconds uh, for each of those runs. Smooth and steady is the key today. Um, it looks more like sprints because of the very small amount of time period, um, but because we're stacking these on top of each other, there's gonna be more running than people actually recognize. Kind of think about this, if we're trying to get four rounds per set, we're running 800 meters per thing, we're gonna be getting close to that two mile range um, especially those that are upper will definitely get there, but we're looking to try to push for like that blue level to get around that four plus. And we want everybody to have that big amount of running, but they won't naturally see that. So help them recognize that. Um, call people out today. This is the classic day to help with making sure that we don't necessarily get frustrated with Murph. If our members understand that we're going to hold them to accountable to proper reps, no matter how many are there, um, it will be a lot easier on us on Murph and we'll help maybe hear a lot less complaining. So on our push-ups, please make sure that as we're doing this, that you help people understand that the core is a big key element. Just like when we're doing a plank or an extended arm plank, and we're just sitting there, the core's involved. It's the same idea that it stays involved as we go up and down. I don't want any of this like worming action. We've seen it. As coaches, we know exactly the people in our gyms that do it, and we know exactly what they're losing when, when that happens. If you don't know and you don't understand what muscle arms aren't being utilized and cues to use, look to your managers or ask me. I'm more than willing to give those to you. With our air squats, this is a big one for me um, in understanding and helping people understand that the hips have to be opened up just as much as the knees. So I see a lot of the classic like squatting down and then coming up and they extend the knees and then they go back down, but they never open their hips. This is a full extension at the top, coming down, opening up, okay? Make sure people are understanding that, that the hips have to be opened up just as much as the knees do, and we don't need to have the pump sesh that we're going back and forth to try to show that. We just have to squeeze the butt, okay? This is gonna be a fun time. Let's enjoy it. Let's help people understand we're prepping for Murph.